Well, hello there. You're watching The Candy Show on YouTube. It's your favorite time. Time to talk trash. A few caveats. It is 1,000 degrees and I am a big woman who's menopausal. I cannot turn off our fans and our air conditioning, so hopefully the sound of that won't drive you batty. Uh, but I have a lot of empties, a lot of good stuff, so I'm going to get right in. I'm going to start with packaging, all these little packages, many of which you've seen before. The Sephora Aloe Vera Mask. The Dr. Jart Water Replenishment Cotton Sheet Mask. Ooh, this was a favorite. i got to get this again. This is by a company called Saturday Skin, which I'm just sort of delving into. Uh, Spotlight Brightening Mask. Really enjoyed that one. Always a favorite, the uh, Sephora Pearl Face Mask. I've got two of the Lavender Foot Masks. You know Denise and I love them. This was an interesting one. It's the Sephora Charcoal Mask. Uh, pore minimizer. I'm not sure it actually minimized the pores, although I did look like a bank robber when I had it on. This is one of my favorites. This is the Too Cool for School Egg Cream Mask in the pore tightening version. I really love all the Too Cool for School masks. This was a little package of facial, facial wipes I took with me on the road. These are the Sephora brand Watermelon Cleansing Wipes. Love the smell. You've seen these a thousand times. These are the Well Kept's which I use for my glasses and all my digital stuff. Love them. These are the wet ones that I take with me when I'm on the road. There's another package of the well caps. I got these particular ones from Kate Spade, as you can tell from the packaging. A little, you know, I only use Shiseido cottons, but these were Quo Luxury Square cotton pads, the big facial ones, the big square ones. We were on the road somewhere and I just needed some big ones and so I grabbed these. Also on the road, I usually use wet ones these wet ones exactly in my makeup room. This is another empty. Um, but these were baby wipes, cucumber baby wipes that I grabbed when we were in the United States actually and used them up. And finally a Veet waxing strip. Uh, these are the Easy Gel Wax. Uh, let's read the English slide, shall we? Easy Gel Wax body and leg sensitive skin wax strips. I use these on my forearms. I like to keep the hair off my tattoos. It makes them look better. These work great. I love them. I also used up an underarm deodorant. We're coming into the summer months when it's hot. I can't use those natural deodorants. I just stank too much um, because I do sweat a lot. And obviously being a larger woman, that creates even more issues. So I uh, like to switch to actual antiperspirant in the summer. This is the Dove Advanced Care Go Fresh 48 hour. Love all the Dove ones. Uh, use this up, won't bite again. This is the MAC Brush Cleanser. I like a good old fashioned, like scrub my brushes with soap and water. And the one I love is the cool one. Um, I forget why I had this, but I had it forever. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use it up. I did, but it's not my favorite kind. Oh, now you'll remember that I told you I stayed at this amazing hotel here in Halifax called Bish, which is a Lowe's hotel. It's a line, it's a chain, but it's a chain of boutique hotels and they're each very unique to the other. If you're ever in Montreal, stay at the Vogue Lowe's. Fantastic. Uh, but this Bish in Toronto has Byredo fragrance products in their bathroom, like all the toiletries. And it's in Balda Freak, which is my favorite Byredo scent. Uh, this is the body wash and look at the size like I use that for almost a week It's so amazing. I like the hotel room is beautiful It's like something out of the great Gatsby But when I walked into the bathroom and saw these products, it's too bad I was alone because I sang an aria. It was amazing. Uh, here's another body wash I used up. This is the molten brown Gingerly body wash. This is a UK brand and I absolutely love it, but it's kind of expensive to get it over here, but I really do love it. This is the Berry Bonbon Sugar Scrub from the Body Shop's Christmas Collection. Denise used it on her fabulous skin. And I was in a white musk frame of mind about a month ago, so I used up this wonderful body wash. It's just the white musk shower gel from the Body Shop and the white musk body cream also from the shop of the Body Shop. I love this scent. I won't go on and on because you've heard me talk about it a million times. It makes me feel like I'm 20. Don't mind the hair. Um, we're going home for July and my hair appointment's on the 25th of July. I have gray roots this big. I had to spray paint so much of my hair in before filming. 
Um, so I just pulled it back in a ponytail to make it a little easier and I have no false lashes today. I just decided I was going to do like summer casual June empties. Denise also used up this big tin of Nivea cream. Um, this is, I smell this and it brings me back. Um, back in the day before there were body or uh, you know makeup removing oils and makeup removing balms and all of that this was a product i almost always had this and the nivea milk and i'll tell you why <laughs> um cindy crawford who was my favorite supermodel back in the day cindy crawford in a vogue spread once talked about her like what she swore to remove her makeup by was the nivea milk which she would massage all into the makeup then she would spray her, like when the face was dry, then she would spray her face with Evian water. And then I don't even know if they still have these, but there were these, they, Clean, <clears throat> Kleenex brand used to have these really huge boxes of really big Kleenex, which was kind of made for beauty professionals. Often uh, makeup artists on set would put them uh, like around your neckline so they wouldn't get makeup on your, on your clothing. So she would do the milk, then spray her face with the Evian, then take one of those big Kleenex things and remove it all. And then often use a Dove bar to do the double cleanse with, although they weren't calling it double cleanse then. So that was when I went out and bought my very first Nivea face product and have always loved having these. Denise used this, I think, on her feet and her face and her body and everything else. It's just a really oldie but a goodie. We've been doing a lot of traveling, so I have a little troika here of travel body creams this is all these are all by sol de janeiro um sorry sol janeiro it's called this is the original boom boom cream which i think everybody kind of knows and loves it's my favorite of the line the smell is fantastic i even have the body mist in this smell in case i want to smell like that when i go to bed some night so i absolutely love this one really like the acai body power cream um, this one has like a uh, bit of a mauve tint to it. It doesn't leave that on your skin, obviously. Um, and another really beautiful uh, smelling cream. It's, anti it's supposed to be antioxidant for resilient and radiant skin. Really loved it. I have mixed reviews on the newest one. This one is the, uh, what is it called? Coco Cabana Cream. This has a smell. First of all, the consistency was different. The consistency was a little bit like the body yogurt from the body shop. But when you open it and sniff it, you want to like, uh, you want to lick it. You want to put your tongue in there. It smells so great, but it smells very much like food. And I don't mean that it smells like a gourmand fragrance. I mean, it smells like something edible, like as if your mother made cupcakes and shoved it in here. Here's the problem. The smell is so monstrously strong that it overwhelms and overtakes you all day long. Um, I mean, yes, we have a small apartment, but it's a good like 20 feet from the kitchen sink to the bedroom. And one day I just opened it. I wasn't even, I hadn't even gotten it on me yet and Denise could smell it. I am wearing right now the fragrance Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Any of you have ever smelled Tom Ford, particularly his like reserve line, that is some potent scent. I mean, that has a sillage like you wouldn't believe. I could not smell my Tom Ford over the smell of this all day long. So much so that by the end of the day, I'd be a little sick of it. So I think they should like, it is a lovely smell. It's a wonderful formula, but they should maybe cut However much fragrance they put in, they should cut that in half. And I think then you'd have a decent thing. But I mean, I, 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 again, I said, if you, you know, if you were taking a bath, if you were someone who actually had a bathtub that you could use, unlike me, and you wanted to not wear any scent to bed, but you still wanted to smell something, you could put this. But even that, I think it's a bit overwhelming. Anyway, we used up this glorious smelling product. As always, we use these on our hands. Even though it's a body lotion, it's from Bath & Body Works, and it is the spiced gingerbread swirl i think it was from the christmas collection lovely lovely scent came to the end of this it is the ultra sheer 110 uh, neutrogena with helioplex spf for the it's for body and face but i use it mostly on the body as did denise 
got us through our trip to Vegas. It is a great SPF. Denise used up one of these. It has her Palmer's. She loves these. Also on the road, we used up this little squeeze tube of the uh, Sol Gennaro Boom Boom Cream, which is absolutely lovely. Oh, but back to the Bish Hotel. This is another one of those Byredo products. Again, look at the size of it that was in the bathroom. This is the body lotion. We used up a couple of hand washes. This one was from Bath and Body Works. It's the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. It was very nice. And this a Myers hand, hand wash. This was the first time we used Mrs. Myers. I used the Mrs. Myers like 28 uses in one soap for various things, uh, but I thought I'd try the hands soap. And this one was in lavender, one of my favorite smells. Used up a few hand cream products. Uh, I always have a little mini one like this size in my purse. This one was from L'Occitane and it's their Cherry Blossom. This is a dream product. This is the Burt's Bees Hand Slab and I love having these little travel size ones. It's a tin. It's so cool. Excellent hand cream. Uh, it's the Waleda Pomegranate Regenerating Hand Cream. I love Waleda products. I come and go from them over the years. Oh, and this is one of my favorite smells from the body shop. This is the Wild Argan Oil Hand Cream and man... Ugh, that whole wild argan oil line from the body shop. What a great smell. Except a few in Cocos. You can go to my Instagram, which is linked below, to see what they look like. And I used up a Deborah Lipman cuticle oil. I didn't love it. Uh, I mean, cuticle oil is cuticle oil, but I have my favorites. I thought I would try the Deborah Lipman one. I just didn't care for it. I felt it was uh, not thick enough, first of all. It's like too runny. It ran everywhere when you're putting it on your fingernails. Um, and it just didn't seem to have the same punch. You know, my favorite one of all time, I, I, they don't, I don't even think they make it anymore. The body shop used to just have this, it wasn't even called cuticle oil, it just was a tiny little tube of oil that was sweet almond oil. And that was my favorite thing for my cuticles. But I wouldn't buy that one again. Used up a few lippies. The good old standby, Carmex. Uh, oh, again with that argan oil from the body shop. Like look at the size of that tub and I used it up mostly because I just wanted to keep smelling it but it's it's a great lip balm to just keep you moisturized all day if your lips are in a bad way this is not going to heal this just protects this surprised me this is the aquaphor lip repair i have used aquaphor body lotion before um and when i what surprised me about it i mean i expected it to be good because it's aquaphor but when I squeezed it out of the tube, I was like, uh-oh, it's kind of like Vaseline. And Vaseline is a great protectant, but it's not a healer. And this said right on, it lip repair, immediate relief. And I was like, mm, we'll see. They weren't lying. It looks like Vaseline, but it's not. If, if I could see, I'd redo the ingredients, but I, I can't see. <laughs> um, but it is, uh, it is very healing. So if you do have already some cracks and problems, it will heal you up. And it's pretty cheap as compared to, you know, say a Bite Beauty Agave. So very cool. Hair stuff. Lots and lots of hair stuff for this need color, need cut. I got my bangs pushed aside because they're too long too. I deep condition once a week, either on Saturday or Sunday. I wash my hair every second day. And whether, like depending on what day on the weekend my hair wash falls on, either the Saturday or the Sunday, I get up in the morning, I use a clarifying shampoo, and then I towel dry the hair and then I put a mask on and I put that mask up in a shower cap and I usually whatever look at my computer read for about an hour I'll put a face mask on and then I get in the shower and I rinse everything out I've been doing that since I was about 15 16 years old and it's kept my hair very soft this was the mask I just used up it is the Orbe signature moisture mask. I will say this, um, it's Orbe, so of course it's wonderful and it smells like Orbe, which it's almost worth the price of the products just for how beautiful your hair smells. But for the price of it, it's very expensive. It's not the best hair mask I've ever used. Um, they have one for color treated hair I might try at some point, uh, but I still think the Briogeo uh, repair Don't Despair is I, is the best so far. There was an old one by Wella that I used all through my 20s and my early 30s, but I have not been able to find it. And it was just called like protein or 
Q protein or something. Anyway, since that one, this Briogeno one has become my favorite. But it was, this was nice, but not worth the money, in my humble opinion. I used up one of these guys, which you know is my favorite shampoo. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo by Alterna. Just love it. Another one of the beach products. This was the Byredo Balda Freak Hair Shampoo. Oh, it was so nice. And the conditioner. I used up a travel size of this when we were on the road, which I love. It is the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It for Fine Hair. So when you're not going to blow dry your hair, you just get this in, scrunch your hair, and it gives you those beautiful beach waves. Really enjoy that product. I used up a conditioner from Lush. This is the American Cream Conditioner. This is great, but if you have like really damaged hair, I wouldn't recommend it. Or if you have uh, really thick, coarse hair, I wouldn't recommend it. The, the consistency of this, if you recall back in the 70s, when conditioners really first started coming out, I mean, maybe conditioners existed before that, but for me, in my experience at the, at the drugstore, like conditioners what wasn't something you saw you saw a lot of shampoo and then around the mid 70s i remember they came out with a cream rinse the first time i ever saw a cream rinse people were like who the hell is going to do two steps in the shower flash forward and nobody would dream of not conditioning their hair now uh, but this is the consistency of cream rinse not conditioner so for someone with fine hair like me it's fabulous there's an oldie but a goodie i had that forever and denise used the end of it it is the Brilliant Glossing Styling Cream by Fakai. This is the olive oil formula. It's just a really nice um, kind of cream to keep it in place and to make it nice and shiny. And I've always loved Fakai products. I came to the end of this Kerastase product. This is Crystalist, Crystal Sculpt. It's a double serum sculptor. So there are two little tubes inside. One is like a pinkish serum and one's a clear serum. And you squirt it out and they come out together and it's just a nice I used it like to style my hair but I didn't uh, I wouldn't buy it again it wasn't like oh amazing if you know what I mean but it was decent came to the end of a triple sec this is by the dry bar this texturizes amplifies and refreshes I use it like a dry shampoo they actually have a dry shampoo but this is a bit of a lighter version of it uh, Carolyn Hiron swears by this. I don't love it as much as she does, but I do think it's a great product. I also used up a little travel size of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and a Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream, which is just a really nice uh, kind of all-purpose styling cream. And finally, while on the road, we used up an IGK Coconut Oil Gel. It's called Rich Kid. This is what Denise is using in her hair all the time now. Got a little bit of makeup products here. I'll start with the mascaras that I used up. This was the, oh no, that's a lip balm. Sorry, that is, this is a lip balm, but it looks, it looks, it looks exactly like the Kush mascara, except it's the Kush lip balm. Uh, this is from Milk. It comes in like a green stick. It has a beautiful, like almost like a toothpaste smell. And I really enjoyed it. My and I love look. Listen, magnetic closure. Uh, I really loved it. Here's my only complaint: there's not a lot in it, and it's kind of expensive. Uh, but other than that, it's a beautiful product. All right, here's the. I got two drugstore and one high-end mascaras. First, it's a travel size deluxe sample of the Buxom mascara. I've used this before. This has a big hourglass brush. It's great. I love it. It's not the best, but it's a good solid mascara. This, if I had like limited money and I couldn't afford high-end mascaras, this is the mascara I would swear by for the rest of my life. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, but this particular one is in waterproof. I bought it in waterproof by accident. It's, it works as good as the original, a little harder to get off, obviously, but man, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a mascara, that's the one. I'm really impressed with the mascara I'm wearing today. You probably can't tell because this isn't a close-up. Um, it's a travel size of the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill mascara. And like I said, I haven't filmed without false eyelashes in years and years and years. So this is you seeing me without the false lashes, but these really give my lashes 
like they look pretty fluttery and I don't I don't have very thick lashes and I used up this this was a recommendation by Lisa Eldridge it is the voluminous million lash. I think it's by L'Oreal there's the wand it is a very good drugstore mascara I was impressed I've also come to the end of this um, eyelash curler which currently has lipstick all over it and I'm not sure why it is the shoe Ulimera eyelash curler but the gold which um, I remember the first time I saw the Devil Wars Prada and I was like wait a minute that was a Shio Mera eyelash curler but it was gold not silver and so I kept my eyes peeled and this limited edition Mario Brothers came out and it was gold so I got it uh, right now I'm back to my old Tarte lash curlers uh, I've, I've heard your recommendation on the Surratt and the Kevin O'Quinn I picked up a Kevin O'Quinn I'll use that when this one is done and I will eventually pick up a Surratt to check it out because I'll tell you I bought a Surratt like one Surratt brush just because I was like what is everybody going on about and I mean the price of them it's ridiculous oh it's worth its weight in gold I came to the end of this and I have other powder right now and I am dedicated to using up all my products like before repurchasing but when I am out of face powders this will be my only face powder that I will ever buy it is the Charlotte Dilbury airbrush flawless finish my color is too medium it's all used up there's nothing to show you there but it is so finely milled and so light I have always used like I'll take this with me when I go out in my purse but I use a loose powder when I'm at home oh not during the life of this I even set my makeup at home with this it is just the most glorious powder I, I can't recommend it enough um, I look forward to running out of face powder so I can go back to that. One pair of lashes to show you. These were Quo 804s. No big surprise there. I used up a deluxe sample of the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. Love it almost as much as my Kat Von D. Used up also in my travel kit this Quick Fix Urban Decay. Uh, this is the prep spray, so this is the one you spray on before you do your makeup. Used up this duo black lash glue. And one of my favorite products, and this one was from my travel kit, it's the Anastasia brow gel. I don't know what it's, what you call it. Clear brow gel, yeah. Uh, I just love it. It does make your brows a little crusty, but man, they shine and they stay in place. This unfortunately expired. I didn't use it all up. It's the Setting Mist by Super Goop. We don't get Super Goop in Canada. There's a big like SPF thing between Canada and the United States. Because in the United States, they don't require their SPS to have a drug identification number. But in Canada, we do. So any lines that, that are from the States that they carry here, we can never get the SPS stuff. So like, I mean, just anything. Think about it. Benefit, we don't get the SPF version. Um, Glossier, we don't get the SPF. But what is amazing about this, so you know how you're supposed to put SPF on your face every day, particularly if you use retinols, which I do. But then you put your makeup on and you go out into the day and we all know that SPF has to be reapplied. But I can't put SPF back on when I have makeup on. This ingenious product is an actual mist. So I've put my SPF on the morning, I'm going out for lunch somewhere, I've got a full face of makeup, no problem, close your eyes, you missed a new layer of SPF on. Somebody in Canada has to come out with this because I had to spend a fortune to get this on eBay and I don't like getting stuff like this on eBay because I don't know how new it is and sometimes you can get counterfeit products. Um, Supergoop, please go through the process of getting this in Canada or if any of you know of an SPF mist that is in Canada tell me in the comments got a whole bunch of house stinkies these are I'll start with the Bath and Body Works wallflowers this was champagne toast I don't know what this one was this one was fresh cut lilacs oh I love this was lavender vanilla and this was rainforest gardenia also a beautiful one and from our atomizers we used up two essential oils this one is a signature relief by Aroma Naturals. Um, it was the the thing that's called Un. They all have like one's G, one's a, this one was Un. 
and this was just a straight eucalyptus oil. Mama Denise and I also used up some stinkies as she calls it. I'll start with the travel ones first. I'll dig those out. Because as you know when I'm on the road I bring little samples. So I used up a Kat Von D Saint, one of my favorite perfumes ever. This was a replica jazz club which I love usually in the winter months. This is Gabrielle by Chanel. When this first came out I, I dissed it. I said oh it's too it's too pedestrian to represent Coco. Over time this has grown on me so much that I actually bought a bottle of it. So I am loving this now. This is another Kat Von D Saint. And this was Atelier Cologne Iris Rebel. Um, I love Iris scents. And this was no disappointment. Really nice. And we used up some full size bottles. This is Denise's Tobacco Vani. I had actually bought this for me originally, but she uh, absconded with it. it. Smelled great on her. Tom Ford. Oh man. It's not for everybody, but those who love it, love it a lot. And I told you I was on a big white musk kick, so I actually used up my entire bottle of white musk perfume from the body shop. Oh, I'm so sad to come to the bottom of this. This is the Byredo Ball d'Afrique. It's the smaller bottle because they're so freaking expensive, but oh my God, what a smell. This is meant to smell like uh, Paris in the 20s. I just can't tell you how beautiful this is. And this man used to be a Toronto Raptor. And the Toronto Raptors just won the NBA Finals. Can you imagine he was a Toronto Raptor, an NBA basketball player, and then his basketball career didn't work out. He goes to art school, becomes a perfumer, and like his company is through the roof. He's also a drop dead gorgeous. Now I've got a bunch of face stuff. Uh, Denise used up this Body Shop Drops of Youth uh, Youth Cream. This is the day cream of it, which all right, but for her dry skin, not her favorite. Uh, this is a regular in our rotation. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. Swear by these. We use these in the morning all the time. Oh, this I really loved. This is the uh, Kapari Coconut Rose Toner. I just use it as a face mist before I put my lotion on. Beautiful spray on this, a wonderful smell, really nice feel on the face. This is a Glossier product I thought I would try and I really enjoyed it. It's the Solution Exfoliating Skin Perfector. Uh, so like a bit of a cheaper version of the P60, whatever it is, lotion. I would compare this to the Pixie one, except I really like the packaging of this better. Um, and, I, and this gave me some tingle and I use a lot of chemical exfoliation but I actually got some uh, tingle out of this. It says it has AHA, BHA and PHA. I would recommend it and I would use it again. This is one of my favorites and I love when I can get the samples because fresh face masks are so expensive in full size. This is the Lotus Youth, Prefer Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. It really, really does wonders for the skin. Niece used up a Pharmacy Honey Savior All-in-One Skin Repair. She loves this. She has super dry skin and it makes her skin beautiful and glowy. Uh, the only thing about that pharmacy, and I hope they'll fix it, the way that Bite Beauty fixed the agave tubes. Remember when the agave lip mask first came out? All the black stuff would like actually come off on your fingers off that kind of metal tube that it used to be in. Same thing with that. She kept getting all the white paint from the packaging coming off on her fingers. So it'd be cool if they figured out a better way to package that. Um, I did not come to the bottom of this. It actually expired first. This is the Tarte Guard 30 um, Facial SPF. I do like this. I do find though right now I'm so loving the Clarins Face SPF that I think it's going to be a while before I move off of it. Uh, but if I were going to go to something cheaper, this is a bit cheaper and it's, it's great. This is a travel size of a product I swear by and have it in full size all the time. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Power Serum. One of the only serums you can find like at Sephora that has 20% vitamin C in it, which is really what my dermatologist tells me you got to have. There's another product I love and have used on and off for years. It is the uh, Kate Somerville Exfolicate. They refer to it as like the two minute Hollywood miracle. It's just a great mask combination. It's like a mask combination scrub. Um, 
and I use it like before I'm going out and you can see the difference in your skin. It's great. Denise used up one of her ordinary 100% organic cold press oils. She's off the camera going like this. She absolutely loves these oils by ordinary. Uh, we also used one of the Laneige sleeping masks. I love this as a night cream. This was a little duo sample I got from Drunk Elephant. It's their vitamin C or C from a day serum and their B Hydra intensive hydration serum and they recommend using them together so it doesn't have the potency of the Peter Thomas Roth but they are nice together the only thing is it pushes out of the packaging I don't know if you can see how there's stuff all over this like there's a cap and everything and it's just sitting on my nightstand but it pushes itself out of its packaging and I'm not sure why that is but I don't like that part Denise used up this face serum it is the Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Serum it's a bestseller. It's really very affordable serum. Serum, although right now she's using uh, the iconic Vichy uh, serum, which she's loving more than she loves this. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I love it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. It does plump the skin before makeup. There's another of the Lotus Youth Preserve Mask. Uh, just love it. Denise is loving this. Of course, I found that ten dollar. Oil by Ordinary that she loved and then I made a mistake. I got the sample size of the Herbivore Emerald, which is got cannabis in it. I said, oh, here, you want to try this? Oh, I love it. Of course, the full size is like 60 bucks, but now she's living on this. This is the Algenist Complete Eye Renewal Cream. Use this on the road. It's all right. This is something that I have to buy in full size. This is the Glam Glow Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment. Man, there is something about this product. You squeeze it out and it's like this violet colored cream. And you just put one even layer all over your face and within that 60 seconds, it like, it sort of bubbles, but it stays in place. It's not messy, it doesn't get all over you. But after the 60 seconds, you wash it off, or I take mine off with a washcloth. And it feels so fabulous when it's on your skin. And I do feel like your skin looks better afterwards. I particularly like it if I'm a bit hungover. Or, you know, you're like super tired and you just feel like your skin looks tired. This replenishes. It is... I've only ever had these samples. And I keep saying every time I get a sample, I'm like, man, I love this stuff. I gotta buy it. All right, the final things are some candles. Uh, this is the Veluspa. I used this on the road. This was the Goji Taroko Orange. And I love these little ones that are, you know, you can close up to take on the road with us when we're traveling. This one is from Obvious State. Also used it up on the road. It was called This Winter Night. These are tiny, but I actually use these at home here in our apartment. These are both by Toka. Uh, this one was Valencia. And this one, Marrakesh. I really loved the Marrakesh. This was such a beautiful scent. Oh, this is by Nest, and it's called Linen. It was a special edition, which is why it came in this really beautiful glass. Oh, and it just smelled wonderful. This was a NARS candle that came up on Sephora, and I was like, what? A NARS candle? Let me try it. Mm, beautiful glass. It was red and gorgeous. It smelled great. I'm not sure what the scent was supposed to be, but it took me, I, I'm an expert candle burner. Let me just say I trim my wicks, I tend to my wax. The candle got to here before it would burn right. Like I had to keep doctoring it up here because it was burning down instead of across. Um, so I'm not sure I would drop the quid on that again, but it did smell lovely. And the last four are all Bath and Body Works. This is the Pink Petal Tea Cake which I've used so many times because I love, first of all, the packaging and I do love the smell. Described as, originally launched in 2014, enjoy a BBW favorite blend of pink rose petals, pound cake, and a vanilla glaze. This I hadn't used before, but what a wonderful smell. It's eucalyptus, eucalyptus mint, fresh eucalyptus, sweet spearmint, lemon peel, Clary Sage made with essential oils. So this is one of the, oh God, so good. It's one of the ones that's their new essential oil, which is a lot easier on the lungs. This was just so darn cute. Look at it with the little lifesavers for, for summer. 
Um, and it's called Root Beer Float. And let me tell you, it smells like root beer. It smells like a and double root beer, and it smells like it when you burn it. These don't always smell as good burning as they do in the, you know, when you first open them. This one did. Root beer, vanilla ice cream, and a dollop of whipped cream. I don't know about that. To me, it just smelled like a and w root beer. And these, there's two or three of them, and I bought them for the packaging. Look how pretty that is. Uh, this one is Georgia Peach, which they've had that smell for a long time. It smelled wonderful. This is one of the ones where it smells so pretty, but when you're burning it, you don't get a lot of the smell. Um, described as juicy peaches, dew-covered leaves, hint of vanilla with essential oils. But just so pretty. I've got a couple of other ones which you'll see coming up, but... <clears throat> I love that smell. And that brings us to the end of the June empties. There won't be an empties in July because Denise and I are going to the Palmetto Compound where we're spending most of July with my family. Cannot wait. But we will get a few more videos up before we go. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you're still loving the empties. And make sure you subscribe and all that junk. And I'll see you in the next video.